today I have unique fruit in my hand. Let's watch this fruit closely. Do you know what is this? This is one of the fruit and it belongs to citrus family and it is one type of citrus and this is called Buddha's hand. It is one of the most expensive fruit in the world and it is only available to specific markets and during the specific season only. Today we will talk two different things about this fruit. First, we will dissect this fruit and see what is inside. Second, we'll talk about the different uses of this fruit, how this fruit can be used, and know why it is one of the most expensive citrus. Now I'm going to cut this fruit and we'll see what's inside this. I have cut this fruit into two different halves and we can see only see white pith inside there is nothing else nothing like other citrus that we see let's make it even smaller and see what's inside so it's still the white pith we don't have any any other fruit like structure that we can eat and let's see its fingers so these are the fingers that we can see this one All, all fingers so it has a lot of white pith inside and it has a lot of essential oils outside so if I you can see like a lot of essential oils coming out and my hand is full of all the essential oils so it has essential oils in its outer rind but it is one of the most expensive fruit and this is used for different purpose not for eating this is not edible and this is very popular because this is known as buddha's hand buddha's hand fruit is very expensive due to different reasons the cultivation of buddha's hand itself is very expensive and time consuming the big and small size of the fruits affect the pricing the shape of the fruit also affects pricing. The larger number of fingers increases the fruit price. The shape of the fruit makes it very difficult for the transportation. And finally, the timing of the production affects the pricing. Now let's focus on some different uses of this fruit. The aromatic flavor of the rind provides the flavor and freshness to the dishes. The fruit can be used as an infuse for freshness of the drinks. This fruit is also used to make sweet candies. The followers of Buddha also use this fruit to offer to Lord Buddha. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like my content, please don't forget to subscribe this channel.